You want to get healthy, but life gets in the way, you don't feel inspired, or you just don't like your veggies. Trust me, I've been there. After seven years of eating plant-based, I've got some must-know hacks that I wish someone told me sooner. Before getting into the practical hacks, I'm gonna share some basics. So first, make it appealing. Make it appealing to take healthier choices throughout the day. For example, stock up your kitchen with healthy foods, or just the foods that you want to eat more of. For me, there's nothing Nothing more uninspiring than an empty fridge with some sad food left. I don't know if you're like me, but I find wholesome foods more beautiful and more satisfying to look at than processed foods. By always having healthy foods in your kitchen, you are more likely to feel inspired and cook or grab these when you're about to eat. If my home is super messy, I don't really feel like doing ambitious things. And the same goes for the kitchen. If the kitchen is messy, I don't feel inspired to make myself a nice meal. Start off with an easy habit such as cleaning the fridge once a week before a big grocery shopping. It makes it so much more inspiring to pop in your new groceries and maybe you'll feel more excited to cook with them. An organized pantry is not only pretty to look at, it hopefully gets you inspired too. It's also very helpful because everything is on its place and you can easily see what's available. I have a video about how to organize a pantry if you want to deep dive into that. Showcase the fruits. This may be my favorite tip to make healthy eating appealing. Fruit is the perfect snack. It requires nearly no preparation. It's sweet, filled with fiber, vitamins, minerals, makes you energized and they are beautiful. You are more likely to grab fruits throughout the day if they are visible or packed into your to-go bag. Growing up, we rarely ate veggies, like never. It was a lot of processed foods, and as I grew older, it just got worse. I reached the lowest point in my life. I was not only eating very unhealthy, I also felt very mentally unwell. Healthy eating isn't the only answer, but I do think it plays a big part. So mental health is something that I care about a lot, and therefore I'm happy to tell you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible which is really important because finding a therapist can be really hard especially if you're limited to the options in your area. So BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote and by filling out a few questions BetterHelp can match you to your professional therapist in just a few days and there's a link in my description. Clicking that link helps support this channel but also gets you 10% off your first month so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. If you don't fit with that therapist, which is a very common thing in therapy, you can easily switch out to a new one without stressing about additional costs like the insurance or stressing about who's in your area. When I had anxiety and depression, I would love a platform like this. I was desperate and continued with the first therapist that I could find because I wanted help. And even if I made it work and I got helped, I knew it wasn't the best match. I could have a better one. If you you are struggling please get help and also maybe consider online therapy if you want to learn more about better help click the link in my description down below or visit betterhelp.com alexandra anderson and thanks again BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Okay, how can we eat veggies without knowing it? Hide it. If you're having a hard time eating veggies but you really want to, this is such a great hack. Before I started a plant-based diet, I absolutely hated veggies. So having a salad was not on top of my list. So the best way to hide veggies? in smoothies. You can literally start your day with a salad and you won't even notice you're having them. Start with a sweet base. I like to use bananas but soaked dates, mango or any fruit works as well. Next add in your veggies. Start with tasteless ones as baby spinach, zucchini, cauliflower, cucumber, lettuce, frozen peas, sweet potato, avocado. Then you can add something more acidic to balance the flavors such as berries, orange or another flavor boost such as ginger or turmeric which happens to be very healthy as well to level up your smoothie add dark leafy greens such as kale i really like pairing it with more acidic fruits such as pineapple lemon and orange juice but still keep the sweet base and this way the dark greens will barely taste 
To eat healthy doesn't only mean eating salads. There is so much you can do with plants, like for example, pasta sauces is another great hiding method. You can make a creamy pasta that's actually packed with nutrients from plants. First of all, by choosing a whole wheat pasta, you ramp up the nutrients and fiber. Second, by making a sauce with cashew nuts, you add more protein, fiber, healthy fats, and other nutrients. And when blended, it actually tastes like cream. We can then make the most delicious pasta pasta sauces with veggies and herbs hidden into the sauce. So this is perfect for someone who finds it difficult to eat veggies. If you don't like cashew nuts, you can also make sauces with pumpkin, white beans, silken tofu or sunflower seeds. And by the way, I have plenty of these pasta recipes in my app, just search pasta. Soups, curries and stews are all great hiding methods, especially if you don't like raw veggies or like having salad all the time. So you can make a blender soup with the same principles as the pasta sauce. Enjoy a warm, cozy soup packed with veggies and herbs without knowing you're actually kinda eating a floating salad. And I love curries because once you have a delicious curry base, you can basically add in whatever veggies you want and they will soak up the delicious flavors a bonus with curries and stews is that you can use frozen veggies. They are as nutritious as if you would use raw. These kind of meals are perfect if you don't like crunchy veggies or just want to eat a healthy, hearty, warm meal. Since we're talking about curries and stews and you want to ramp up your greens but don't feel like the salad vibes, make a stew, curry or soup and add in a bunch of baby spinach or kale. I really mean a bunch. They will melt and become really, really small plus you will not taste it. Sprinkle your meals. An easy hack to boost your meals is to have a nutritious sprinkle ready. One is a vegan parmesan. By making this with brazil nuts, you boost your meals with selenium. Only one brazil nut provides the daily need of selenium. And then, yeah, nutritional yeast has lots of vitamin B. I'm adding some iodized salt for that iodine. Top this on toast, on pasta, salads, and why not soups. You can do a mix with seeds like chia, flax seeds, sunflower, pumpkin seeds, give it a shake and have as they are, or grind them up. You can sprinkle this on oatmeal, smoothies, toast, fruits, or yaster yeah, into nut butter to make it a superpower nut butter. Well, it's not news that homemade treats usually are healthier than pre-packed treats, but I want to encourage you to use natural sweeteners. Ice cream at home is a perfect example. Use frozen bananas as a base. They're sweet, creamy and have a surprisingly ice cream-like texture when blended. Add in flavorings as you prefer. If you're the chocolate one, like I am, add in the cacao powder and peanut butter. And yeah, the combinations are endless. Mug cakes. You can make delicious one serving cakes using banana as a sweetener and a binder, but you can also use applesauce. So when you're using these kind of ingredients, the cake will nourish you and you will actually feel good afterwards. I'm not saying that cake is forbidden, I'm just encouraging you that you can eat delicious but still healthy. Dates are underrated. You can make so many delicious things with dates. They are packed with lots of good stuff, especially fiber, copper, potassium and even some calcium. Fill up some dates with peanut butter or any nut butter works, place them in the freezer and you are ready with tiny caramel ice cream bombs. You can also use them as a sweetener in puddings, oatmeal, bars, in banana free smoothies or why not just having them as they are as a snack. Make it hassle-free to eat healthy. It's all about making it easy for yourself. So one thing is to plan ahead. To plan your meals, remove stress throughout the week because you don't need to make decisions every single day about what to cook. I always use my app to meal plan, so I'm choosing for how many days and what meals I want to plan. My tip is to plan for leftovers. That way you don't need to cook several meals the day after. When the meals are planned, create a shopping list with the things you don't have at home and and now it's so much easier to go on grocery shop because you have a plan and you shouldn't need to go to the supermarket again for a few days. Meal prepping. Meal prep is another awesome hack for healthier eating because you batch cook and reduce the amount of work during the week. So you will actually more likely eat what you planned because parts of it is already prepped, which is a huge relief when you're busy or coming home late. So you can either meal prep all the meals or just parts of the meals. You can check out my two videos about meal prepping if you want to learn more about this. And a hack I don't mention in those videos is that you can freeze
these ready to go smoothie boxes if you want a hassle free morning but also a nourishing smoothie just add into a blender with a splash of plant milk blend pour it into a glass and you are ready to go I hope you got some helpful tips from this video and if you feel busy but still want to make healthy meals check out this video and I'll see you in the next video